Hi everyone, welcome to Schoolhouse Intuitive Tarot. Today I'm here to do the May 2023 reading for Gemini. Uh, I channel messages throughout, uh, messages for your greatest, highest good as I connect with Reiki uh, and my guides. And those messages are timeless, okay? Um, so you may hear me throughout the reading as I do a general, you know, tarot reading, um, you know, saying things, names, places, etc. They may or may not resonate with you. Please don't force it. It's not a personal reading. These are general. But if something does resonate, wonderful. Feel free to like, comment, share, subscribe. Um, that helps my channel grow a lot. I appreciate it so much. So wherever you have Gemini in your chart, you know, if it's one of your big placements or, or you're cross-watching or whatever, welcome. Um, there, please read the description box for some important messages there. And, uh, we're going to go ahead and get started. All the decks are in the description box. We're going to do, um, Oracle cards, tarot cards. And at the end, I, I draw a few cards for love, a few cards for career, but otherwise it's, uh, whatever comes out. All right. Spirit guides, angels, guides. I need to know. Messages for the greatest highest good of the collective viewers, please. What do we need to know? What do we have out? We have preening. Attend to your own needs, Gemini. <laughs> All right. Okay, here. Make sure you can see that. Yep, you can. Okay. Um, all right. So, yeah, attending to your own needs. Uh huh. Uh, going over some details, too, maybe. This could also obviously have to do with self care, making yourself a priority. Let's see what else we have in the Oracle decks. Help us guide this reading, please. Spirit's guide. Have the collective please. Messages for the greatest, highest good. Whoa, okay. Action. All right, well, you know, who's, who's reading just had this? Uh, the reading I posted yesterday had this. That may have been Scorpio. And then I think even Sagittarius maybe had that. So action, all right, uh-huh. Yeah, it was definitely, it was Scorpio. Scorpio May reading. So action, taking some action. Maybe maybe you're taking some action, you know, as far as your own self-care or um, something that you know is like your soul is connected to. I'm hearing Janet right now too. I'm also hearing gym membership. So maybe some of you are considering, you know, getting a gym membership. We have protection. Know that you are protected. All right. Even though things might feel a certain way, we have the thunderbolts here, you know, um, with this eclipse season energy, it can feel uh, pretty intense and a little unsettling uh, is the way of putting it. <laughs> um, also, there are a lot of other planetary things happening, um, but I'm not an astrologist. So we have action and protection, attending to your own needs, Gemini. Mm, what else? I'm getting king, king. It could be part of a name, king. Any variation of king, whoops, like Kinsley, that sort of thing, any, any variation there. Oh, wow, so I'm hearing soul searching. Some of you are doing some sort of soul searching. Um, maybe, well, we'll see. We'll see what else we have. All right, anything else? Lawan. Okay, so this says delight. Mm -hmm. Delight. So we have protection, action, protection, and delight. So what is going to make Gemini happy? What will make the Geminis happy this May 2023? Hmm. Let's find out. Let's go right into the tarot and see what see what we have for us there. Okay. Which tarot deck? I actually want to use this tarot deck today. All right. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I'll get quiet for a moment, maybe. Um, and that's, I'm channeling, so I am getting messages. Oh, I was hearing king. So we have a king of cups in reverse. Um, all right. This could have to do with the action. We have the nine of pentacles. And then we have the um seven of swords these actually go like this i'm getting okay so let's see actually here we have so we have under action i'm hearing connor 
under actions right now um, in Conrad. So we have King of Cups in reverse. Now the King of Cups is a very, you know, it's a king. So it's a stable energy. This could be water energy you're connecting with or having your chart. This could be, uh, you know, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Does not have to be, but that's the, that's the suit of air. I'm sorry, of water. And we have a little bit of air here, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius with the swords. And then we have some earth signs. So it's pretty well balanced so far. I feel like this is, yeah, we're going to get some information about this. Okay, Nine of Pentacles, and that's earth energy. So that's Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. Now, King of Cups, as I was saying, in reverse, um, upright. This is somebody who's like that counselor, that mentor, someone that shoulder to cry on, etc. cetera. Um, when the King of Cups is reversed, uh, maybe people are feeling a little emotionally unbalanced, um, possibly, uh, and perhaps not sure about, you know, the action to take, or maybe, you know, just because, because of that, you know, that King flipped, um, the energy of the King of Pen of cups right here for me too. Um, I'm definitely seeing like somebody holding on, you know, he's holding on, you know, I feel like maybe you're really trying to, you're holding on to something, um, possibly, or someone's trying to hold on to you or you're like, hold on a minute. I need a little more time for this decision. Possibly. You may not feel somehow I'm getting, maybe not feeling safe, maybe not feeling, um, I just heard footloose and fancy free. Maybe that's not the energy. I'm um, also getting Scorpio coming in. That's a transformative energy. There could be something you're feeling is hidden as well with this protection. And then the seven of swords, we'll talk about these with the seven of swords, uh, under protection here. The seven of swords is it's not always deceptive energy. Sometimes it's how we deceive ourselves mentally. This is the mental, um, the yeah, mental cognitive communicative, uh, sign, um, uh, you know, the, or su suit, I should say. So the seven of swords looking over their shoulder, like, you know, they could have taken all seven by the way, and didn't, I mean, cause it doesn't look like they're really struggling. Um, carefully, you know, being kind of stealthy about something, maybe you're trying to make some sort of exit without being uh, caught or seen. Um, maybe I'm also getting Harrison Harold. If, if you in park Lake and also sent park Lake cinema, maybe. Um, so you're not wanting to advertise what's, what's going on right now. It seems, um, Let's see, there's could be some sort of a, a dissolving a, of a partnership, it feels like. Uh, it could be um, something that's going to affect your overall security. All right. Maybe, um, you know, wanting to be that independent nine of pentacles here, very that independent energy that, you know, uh, fulfilling your own needs, um, experiencing the, all the delight of that, wanting to be carefree. But there's something maybe that either it's in the past or it's, um, it's still affecting you in some way um, because notice how it kind of clears. We've got, you know, the a King of Cups in reverse, and then we have our Seven of Swords. So we're kind of like, okay, the moves are being made, right? The action's being taken, but, you know, there could be not quite sure if you're on the right track. Uh, it does have to do with your own... Um, your own resources, your own wellness, your own, uh, it could definitely be finances. Um, but I'm feeling like it has to do with your own resources, whether it be your time effort. Uh, so, um, I'm feeling six of pentacles, even though it's not here. A lot of people would interpret that as, um, well, no, it has to, it's, that has to do with balance, you know, balancing your resources, getting what you're giving, although that's not why we give, right? It's like, there's no point really in helping somebody if you're just going to announce it, right? Like, so it's, it's not, I'm not saying it's like that. I'm saying it's more, um, you might be feeling underappreciated actually. So if I saw three of pentacles in reverse, then I would, that would further kind of, uh, seal it for me. Um, there's, oh, and there's that snail, but you can't really see the snail here, but there is generally that, that snail in the nine of pentacles. And that's reminding you, you know, go slow. Uh, this could definitely be a home situation. It could involve a fire sign. I'm hearing, I'm not seeing it, but I'm hearing it could be a Leo as well. I'm hearing people are needing to use their imagination. Um, also I'm getting somebody was into those books as a child, choose your own adventure. 
where you like flip the book over and you choose you, you there's a story and then you can choose one of two um storylines to finish it it's hard to explain but it's like it was you know around the time of nancy drew maybe nancy drew was more your thing but i'm getting those choose your own adventure and i think that actually applies to you know it's almost like how or do you feel luck is on your side I'm getting a sort of a clever energy here needing to really use your your mind and be strategic here um i'm not getting a purposely wanting to deceive not at all uh but i'm hearing Raphael and collins or colin also somebody might be in quarantine right now that's coming through for somebody and i'm getting somebody uh with their foot up sort of like a, maybe a foot ankle injury something to do with mobility on the leg uh even that right side it could be any side but right now i'm getting a like a left lower leg i'm sorry right lower leg kind of injury there um and i'm getting germane uh as well as jerome so there's germane jerome uh that that that's coming through as well somebody's cat needs to be fed this is really interesting yep it might be kitty might be wanting dinner i don't know what time you're watching this we have the ace of wands here okay and i love to see that with this action card as well as this king of cups because that tells me that yes something could even come out of the blue you could get a message in may okay you could get a message in may where it's going to help clear some things up for you okay because there's that that stormy looking thing you know there's um I'm going to reach out and grab you kind of kind of ocean energy here but then it's um and it's interesting because this is the water here and then you have like air birds fly and you've got air and then you have the pentacles uh root chakra stuff you may be feeling as though you're not feeling very grounded at this time maybe time outside or by water would help with this ace of wands though i'm also hearing japan the japanese art and um okay all right so what else are there messages that wanting to come through i'm hearing hallelujah um i'm actually this is going to sound maybe a little strange but i'm actually hearing that somebody's hearing hallelujah so take that how it resonates maybe not at all somebody uh, plays the uh you know the the uh in their church or did so maybe a passed on loved one perhaps um, played the piano at the church or they were very involved in church but played the piano or the organ whatever whatever it is up there that they play um, I, mean, I, I it's not I've never been to church or anything it's sometimes when I'm channeling uh, I have a hard time with word retrieval in this realm because I'm saying the words that I'm hearing from another realm okay hope that makes sense so for some of you here all right so i'm getting um this could be very expansive for you um okay i'm hearing panda so with panda um let's see teddy andrews author of Ani animal speak for panda would say that well it, i feel as though things aren't um as clear cut uh that's the energy i'm picking up on as i visualize a panda things aren't as clear cut as uh as maybe you want them to be but the panda has to do with sensitivity that's combining your gentleness with your strength in order to have success so this is um focusing on following your efforts all the way through to completion all right so to get to here right all right so I'm getting there's some sort of limited access you may have limited access to an opportunity so an opportunity may not last forever you may want to consider that um, but of course i'm just a tarot reader here you do not have to listen to me this is for entertainment purposes and if you spiritually connect great um i love it when the messages resonate for you but but um you know i want to make sure you're you're uh, well overall too so don't make it fit if it doesn't this is amazing gemini okay oh okay i think my voice is finally starting to change hmm. <laughs> sort of crack there all right devon okay so we have the star card so this is that that's going to be that opportunity it could be something that ignites your inspiration again or something right i feel like this is kind of an overall energy we're waiting for this is coming through 
I'm hearing teamwork, making the dream work. So this could be, you know, you're having to wait on somebody. I don't know, but we have the star card here it wants to be over here by the nine of pentacles. That is that wish fulfillment that's maintaining your balance. Okay. So, um, with the star card, I'm also feeling sun energy. Um, yes. Okay. So, so there may be a red flag though. Some of you could have felt like uh buyer beware or something. I, that that could be uh you and you could have just or you may in may um there could be some news you're not expecting not not really liking but it's not to your detriment i'm being told those are the words i'm being given it's not to your detriment though okay um i'm also getting plains college um so uh gibbons gibbons i'm gonna keep going here we had other, yeah, okay, we've got that star card. There were other cards, too, that came out. What do we have? Oh, okay, so we have that emperor. We have that emperor card. Um, although, like, a lot of cards fell out, but I heard put it back. So I'm just, this is, I shuffled again. This is what's coming out, the emperor. I didn't actually even look at those cards that were underneath, so that I'm, that's, I'm letting you know, I'm getting another name to, uh, Res Rosadio, Res um, Rosagio, it could be a, actually a word in a different language. Okay. Uh, I feel as though somebody needs to know that if they enter into something, they need to know there's sort of like an exit strategy to like an, a way out if they need it. Uh, not really, it's not a panic button, but it did come through as, as something along those lines. Okay. I'm also getting, um, uh, diamond jewelry, something there could be a significance with some diamond jewelry set in sort of a white, in a white metal. So there could be something there. It could even just, it could look like diamonds. So it's, I'm just seeing this. Uh, I feel like it's a necklace. It could be even a dangly earring, but there's some, I'm picking up on that. It could be, you know, cubic zirconia or whatever it is. But uh, so with this emperor two Aries energy, that's right under that fire sign. So this could have to do with um, some sort of very confident, self-assured, self-made kind of energy. This is boss energy for sure. Uh, this person's always strategizing, okay, with this emperor. Uh, this could be you. This could be that kind of energy you want to step into for May. Overall, though, we're getting, I just heard bonus paycheck for some of you. So I'm getting, um, I'm getting Oliver too. Uh, and okay, so, so you could actually be looking for investors too, or you're wondering if you're, if it's worth investing yourself into something, or it could be your resources, your finances. All right. But this is wish fulfillment though. So this is where we're going. I'm hearing you are protected, but I'm not surprised with this protection card here. All right. Cindy. Even Cece. Hmm. Okay. There are again, several cards here. So I'm actually going to take them all. These could have been, been the ones that wanted to come out before, but now is the time for them to come out. That could be, oh my goodness. Wow. Oh, okay. All right. Well, we have the Knight of Pentacles. Okay. That's earth energy. That's a stable offer. That is some kind of energy. It's a very reliable energy. Okay. Coming in, you could get news of that. Um, this could actually give you uh, a little more balance. That's that balance you're seeking here to flip that king upside down. Um, the King of Cups is also very intuitive. You could be highly intuitive. Um, I'm hearing Vanessa right now too. Um, so, and Baron, Baron, Barrett too. Okay. So, uh, Tanisha, Tanina, Talina. Uh, I'm getting Tanisha. Judgment. All right. Someone could come forth. Yes. Some sort of apology. Maybe I always think of apology with this, but this could also be you reflecting, um, sort of having that sort of, uh, uh, you know, um, your, uh, revelation. You could be having a revelation, some sort of judgment call. It could be, you're being called to a higher calling, but I'm feeling as though you're being called upon to ask for protection. If you're not feeling comfortable, ask for protection. Mm-hmm. 
All right. Uh, okay. Well, next we have, this is the 10 of swords in reverse. We have the 10 of swords in reverse. Now that could be an end to somebody's misery. Okay. That is an end to, to the hurt, to the suffering. Maybe you're deciding, you know what, I'm going to, I'm done grieving something or someone possibly you're moving on. I'm hearing you're exiting exit. If you get, I keep getting exited. So some of you may be exiting something and entering something else in May. All right. Um, take it only how it resonates. Obviously I don't feel as though I feel like you're getting more clarity right now and you're reaching some sort of, um, conclusion with something. I'm not sure it's here yet though, because I'm getting sort of a need for resolution at this point. Um, that could happen with this judgment card coming up. So again, you're, you're being called upon though to connect to your higher self and, uh, whatever it is spiritually that you believe in and doing whatever makes you feel whole that's coming through to Gemini. Okay. And we also have the two of swords and that's, you know, tuning into your intuition. Okay. Again, this is air energy. So it could be Libra, uh, Gemini and Aquarius. And this is, um, you know, something close to your heart too, that you may not want to speak about right now. Okay. Um, I don't, see this i feel as though this is over here like this is why you're not you're not quite sure you're protecting yourself you're wanting to take action but you've got to make a decision right so that is still there that's that lunar energy maybe you'll have your decision around the next um, moon event such as the full moon new moon uh, eclipse actually i'm getting the eclipse as well okay um somebody soccer soccer ball so something to do with soccer for somebody that, that could resonate it could be someone that i'm getting loved over loved one uh crossed over perhaps um i'm getting the name dana as well okay uh let me see what else we have here okay so some somebody also um i'm getting um the tuxedo is going to lead to an end of independence. So this could actually have to do with someone uh, moving up or, you know, graduating. But I feel as though it actually could have to do with marriage. Like somebody may be fearing no longer being a bachelor. And the energy could be, it could be a, a female with the masculine energy leading. So that could get tuxedo with that. It's interesting. I have the panda and I have the tuxedo. Uh, they're both uh, black and white. And I feel like, there isn't really any, like maybe someone's wanting things to be cut and dry and it's not. And that could actually be, I'm getting leadership energy though. So I feel as though you have the resources, but I'm feeling as though you're not wanting to ask for support. All right. That's coming through as just not, yeah, not really wanting to ask for the, the support. Let's get you some moonology cards here. But it looks like there's something coming in this emperor. Maybe, you know, you've got this solid offer here with the knight. Um, now, You could be moving to something where you're not you're not the expert on it too in a professional sense where you're going to go from maybe like the king or queen to sort of the knight you know energy but um that's okay you know and there's nothing wrong with having it you know you can start over throughout our lives you know i mean i've done it like you just, you know if you feel like you need to take a different you need to do a course correction you know, there's that inspiration maybe now coming through for you to do that. But it is, it's like, am I safe? Are my finances safe? Are my kids safe? Is my family, am I going to have, you know, I still want to have my house or get a house or be able to pay my rent, you know, got to pay the bills, got to pay the bills, right? We have nothing will come of this situation void, of course, moon. I feel, yeah, that's what's keeping somebody stuck too. Not knowing if, um, not knowing if it's even going to, is it going to even amount to anything, you know, that it's, there's this, but then there's also, I know I have to get two cards on this. There's also that balance, spirituality, and practicality, full moon in Pisces. So again, something to do with, um, it could be that next, uh, eclipse. Okay. I'm getting that balance, spirituality, and practicality. Okay. And that's how you're going to get into this energy. This is also how that King of Cups, um, can get you know, back into the flow of things. I feel as though uh, I'm hearing kind of at what cost, at what expense. So some of you may not be leaving anything, but you're realizing nothing's going to come of it where you are. Okay. Cause you're having, there's, I'm getting a kind of a combative energy, sort of a, uh, 
lack of coordination, maybe it's just, there's something here about that, like uh, needing to know you need to take the steps and you've got to make that decision, but you need to know too, practically. And, and yeah, I feel like a lot of you are spiritual, but like practically is how's this going to unfold? If, if you, if we're going just by the cards here, th it's looking good. This is an end to the pain and suffering. Okay. This is an end to whatever misery found you. This is in here. We have the nine of pentacles and star card. And I'm not saying any of you are miserable. Please only take what resonates. Um, I know I have to be careful with every word I say, cause it could, it does, it could potentially, you know, rub someone the wrong way. I'm sorry about that. Um, uh, when you're reading for a lot of people, you know, it's tough. I'm also getting the name Hossley and Hawkins. All right. A couple of names there. You and your loved ones are safe. All right. And notice how I left a space here, like not even knowing I put this one here for action. I put this one here for delight with the nine of pentacles and star. And then in the middle, you have protection and judgment. You have angelic protection here. You seriously have the support of the divine. Some of you actually may be named Angelica or Angie. There's something else there too with that. Okay. But we have, yeah, new moon and cancer. Okay. So yeah, actually, you know what? I think Scorpio just got this card too. So some of you may have Scorpio in your chart or you're dealing with the Scorpio. I'm not quite sure. I'm also getting us people here being on the Gemini cancer cusp I'm reading for people with that now as well. I can feel it. I'm getting the number 25 and 17. All right. Um, hmm. So no, yes, you are protected, divine, call upon them. There are only a couple of cards in the tarot that really make me think upon, think of, you know, definite angelic support here, you know, universal support and that in the judgment card is one of them. All right. So some of you may want to switch to a career where you're like focusing more on serving the higher good, the greater higher good, you know, and not um, just a typical like nine to five kind of thing. Um, all right. Uh, I'm just listening. There's um, potential for, uh, I'm getting like someone cleaning their floor. Um, again, I'm getting that feet up. I'm getting that lifting of the feet there, keeping your foot up, your leg up. Some of you may need to actually attend to your own needs and like kick back and give yourself permission to relax a little bit, you know, because if you've got this if you had this and, you know, now it's going to be the end of it for May, it looks like you could be feeling very um, worn out right now, weary, you know, just sort of like, wow, just keep on going, keep on going. These are really good cards, though. Look at that, Gemini. I mean, this is a this is excellent. But there is that this is you, you know, that air energy, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Uh, something as we talked about, you know, intuitively, um, needing to trust that you are trustworthy. I'm getting, um, and also the confidence, having that confidence. Okay. All right. Um, and you know, wanting to protect your heart and your loved ones. I'm getting that you want to protect your loved ones as well. I feel this does have to do with finances, but this could absolutely apply to love as well. Let's take a look. So if it's, if it is love, you know, again, not wanting to take, you don't know if you want to take that new step, that first step, you know, you've been through a lot, you've come out of that. Um, so it could be a little bit residual for some of you, but you know, by this is again, talking about May. So May we're talking about, you know, this is in reverse. Now this, this, um, 10 of swords, again, that's air energy. And then, you know, moving into more of like a stable, somebody, you want somebody maybe who's reliable and stable. Um, there could be some sort of offer message coming in. Uh, you could actually get a delayed apology. I'm hearing from somebody that maybe it's too late. Like they don't get another chance or you'll decide if they do. Uh, Felice, Felicio, Felice, Felice, um, Afghan too. All right. That's, that's something coming out as well. Uh, and then we have, yeah, of course the nine of pentacles and the star card, that would be, you know, everything you're wanting to, and but having that great relationship that is pure delight, you know, where you can really, uh, be yourself and, um, 
things are things are good things are looking up you know it could be with an earth sign it could also be with an aries um but knowing that you have you're choosing to be there wherever this is love or career or whatever anything really uh any situation because there it's not just love and career right things there are more there's more to life than love and career so you're going to apply this however it's applicable to you make the necessary adaptations accommodations but you know don't change the story to fit so it's kind of a fine balance there oh some of you are turning 30 this year happy birthday when it comes or it just happened maybe it could be happening in may since you know gemini season starts in may um Something is official too, I'm getting for the month of May. Something is going to be official by the 30th of May. I know there are 31 days in May, but I'm specifically getting the 30th again. So 30, maybe your birthday is May 30th. I don't know, but I'm picking up on that. Okay. Uh, oh, <laughs> this happens uh, a lot. I <laughs> pick up a deck and then a stone on top of it falls off. But uh, hematite may be something that would you would find grounding or attractive. Maybe you're already attracted to this stone. Um, some of you may be feeling as though your heart chakra is blocked at this time. So maybe um, just, you know, find ways to uh, to work on that. Um, even just mindfully with your hands on your, your heart chakra, you know, um, on your chest, like breathing mindfully, imagining that that space is filling with white light, exhaling anything that is, you know, uh, oppressive and just not in your not serving you well anymore and opening up and expanding you know and opening yourself up to all the good that that is wanting to come in for you which is going to mean decluttering clearing out people places things that just aren't um well for you some of you i'm hearing clean so maybe you're cleaning and it could and that can be literal or figuratively or metaphorically you know so i'm gonna get a card over here it looks like we're transitioning on to a different deck it's pretty straightforward you know for the general tarot part taking care of yourself uh also i'm getting you know try not to be too too hard on yourself about your looks um that could be something too i'm hearing barclay maybe Barclay Academy, if that's something that exists. All right. I'm getting, um, elves here. Ah, oh, I knew it was going to be this card. That's so funny. Cause it showed itself when I picked the deck up and then here it is now. So elves playfulness. Yes. Yeah, some of that's card 15 for some of you, uh, maybe your birthday is five fifteen. Um, so this does, you know, it's reminding you to, especially as you're going through a transition, which could be kind of a serious transition, you know, making sure you're taking that time to, um, uh, Keep your, in order to keep your uh, passion alive and your inspiration alive, make sure you are making time to be playful. Um, so you're invited to, you know, in this card, dance under the stars with the elves, um, dance under the moon, um, you know, feel free to like uh, express your, your, your happiness. And uh, this is all about inhibitions being uh, dissolved and just having that spirit of uh, playfulness and allowing that to uh, encompass you. So also we had something about your gentleness here. Didn't we have something about your gentleness? Wait a minute, we didn't? Okay, uh, interesting. I swore I saw something about your embracing your gentle energy at this time. Oh. That wasn't that. Oh, that's yes, yes, yes. It was when we read about Panda, I think. I think it was, yeah, when we read about Panda. Okay, I was getting like, oh, wait, I think what's going on here? I just saw 333, also the number eight. So the spirit of the elves for this, for this, um, this card is about, yes, in embracing your innocence, uh, letting go of like the heaviness of situations, even though it could be a heavy situation, making sure that you're, you're breathing in light and you're, you're giving yourself permission to connect with music, connect with the stars, uh, nurturing your spirit, do something fun. This is uh, joy is very important. You know, maybe, um, there's, you know, like joy, we're being reminded here too, that joy is uh, just and playfulness is just as important as any of our other basic needs, such as sleep, food, water. Okay. So this is about giving yourself a break. 
Okay, again, the end of that Ten of Swords energy, okay? So remaining balanced spiritually and, and practically, okay? You're getting the same message, all right? Um, I just, I'm hearing something about someone's network provider. Maybe you're switching, um, switching network providers. Uh, that there could be some sort of limited access deal or something going on. I'm getting that coming through. I'm also getting um, setting up some sort of conference, teleconference, or even like a parent teacher conference. Some sort of conference is going on. Okay. Um, yeah. You could even be um, somebody might be, or maybe you have set up a, like a family you haven't seen in a while. I'm getting sort of a reuniting sort of energy. And it could be even that um, you're doing that remotely. So maybe someone's setting up like a group conference call, but it's with your family so you can all check in. And if not, maybe that's actually someone's advice that maybe if you're feeling a little disconnected from family, maybe uh, I think Spirit's suggesting that that could be an option for some of you if, that's, if, if you would like that, if your family would like that as well. Getting someone's voice being very hoarse. Uh, it could be allergies, right? I'm not a doctor, but I'm just I'm picking up on, on sort of like a dry throat. Um, I'm also picking up on um, some kind of hormonal shift for somebody, for someone, for some people out there, hormonal shifts. It's kind of like an eclipse energy I'm being shown. So it's, yeah, it's that male, female, or masculine, feminine energies. Um, something may be out of balance there. Uh, it could have to do with some sort of shift. I'm also hearing some sort of shock, maybe. Okay, it could be connected to fertility as well. I'm hearing Lila. Okay, what do we have here? Anything? I don't think this is the right deck for you, honestly. So we're going to skip that. If I'm not feeling it, then we don't go for it. So let's get, oh, I know what I want to get you. Just heard a little bit of sunshine in a cup. So maybe some of you need to treat yourself to, you know, your favorite, I don't know, tea, coffee, whatever, juice. Let's see what we have from the uh, African Goddess Rising Oracle. This is a good deck. It always, I find that it, it reads so well. It's like so easy to connect and, um, just a lot of energy comes off these cards. I love it. I don't know when, you know, when the creator, uh, Abiola Abrams was creating it, you know, they must have done something special here because <laughs> there's clear intention and thoughtfulness. Ooh, just got a little tingle there, a little chill. All right. So we have Allah. Okay. Grief. Remember we talked earlier about letting go of some grief and maybe some of you are choosing, you know, that you've grieved long enough over something or someone. So this is card 29. That can be an 11. All right. Uh, I'm hearing shadow work too for some people. Um, also getting Denison and Leanne. So this is, this is going to be, uh, you know, this is about lovers, actually, this card. Um, this is the ancient earth mother, Allah. Okay. Um, this is about motherhood. I was just talking about hormones, right? And fertility and maybe some sort of uh, shift. This is about um, yeah, motherhood, fertility, uh, afterlife. Yep, this is what else is this? This is going to be, again, your higher wisdom here with your intuition we have. What else do we have here off this card? So I think the story behind this card was that when some, because she's this, she's pregnant here. Unless she just had too many cupcakes like me. I don't know, but she looks impregnated and this is because this i this is so allah is actually about um when some that death uh it, it, you're reincarnated into a, the womb of allah um yes that's that's what that is it's almost like um th i'm thinking of like a dandelion and then it turns it, it it's like a dandelion so maybe that represents like life and then it's um and then it 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 dies and then it there's those seed pods and you can blow those blow those dandelions um uh the seeds and then they travel or the wind you know makes them travel and then it plants new seeds i'm getting kind of that sort of vibe here where yeah 
that, that it's a, it's a reincarnation kind of vibe. So this is about being supported by your loved ones, even those that are um, unseen. So again, this is like a perfect opportunity for that as I am channeling and sometimes things are going to fit for you. Okay. And just heard little tyke too, little tyke. So this is about um, crying if you need to. Uh, this is about getting rid of those tears, shred, uh, surrendering to things, shedding the tears that need to be shed, getting, you know, eliminating that toxicity that might, or the sadness that, that could be affecting you. Um, it's, it could be for some of you unprocessed grief. Okay. And just wanting to like get back to normal or something, but, but it is important to actually process. I know a lot of people encourage us, you know, to just let go. Well, that's great, except we need to process it or it's just going to keep coming back. So taking that time, you know, and there's nothing wrong with you if it's taking you two and a half years, 15 years, 33 years, 37 years, it's, it's, it's 41 years. I mean, it, it can take as long as it takes. Everybody is different. Okay. And it could be, there'll always be this, this, uh, you know, piece of, uh, like a piece of your puzzle missing kind of thing in your heart or something. Um, getting that description for somebody. Okay. So the only way to, you know, like with anxiety and things, um, what I've been taught as again, I'm not a counselor or therapist is that the only way, uh, through it is through it to go right into it. There's you can't go around it. You can't go under it, over it. You got to go right through it, you know, and really, really examine it, you know, um, and move on. And if you need the help of a professional, there's nothing wrong with that. Um, because, you know, losing a loved one is, is uh, an ultimate heartbreak. Um, and so it's important to ask for support, be kind to yourself, be gentle, talk to yourself as though you would talk to a friend. Right. Uh, so this is, this is, this could also be job loss. It could be, um, you know, a breakup of some kind, some other kind of like disappointment, or maybe even like a feeling of failure, not being able to create the life you want or something. But, but Allah is here to, to, um, to, to support you and to give us all of those, uh, gentle reminders. And of course, I'm wishing you all the best. And, uh, you know, if you're feeling, if you or someone you know is um, having a mental health crisis, please text or call 988. The information's in the description box. Thank you. All right. Now we're going to, I'm getting Evans right now. And I also had Sandy come through. I also hear Carlisle and Maggie. There's some, some that visit the readings a little more frequently than others. So you may have heard me mention them before, but that's, that's okay. Cause sometimes once, um, once lo the, you know, spirits know how they can connect, they might come back and try, you know, and keep connecting through this, through this Avenue. Okay. Um, I'm getting Atkin, Akon, uh, oh, also like remembering the wisdom of your family. Okay. And um, that's also important for some of you and Walnut, the name so Walnut something like it could be Walnut Grove. It could be Walnut, Walnut Terrace, Walnut Lane. There's something to do with Walnut or actually eating the nuts, Walnuts, whether it be an, um, somebody always liked their brownies with nuts or had an aversion to that. Like, like they always, they had a preference for that. I'm getting to, okay. And somebody I'm hearing apple peach cobbler for somebody too. That could have been someone's favorite dessert. Lemon meringue pie is also coming up. Nobody made it like so-and-so. I'm getting there's some kind of particular dessert the family loved and nobody made it like that person i'm actually getting grandmother energy some sort of older female energy this could also be like an uncle too also wanting to come in i just heard peter as well and i heard lane lane all right so um sofa couch somebody's having to maybe sleep on a sofa couch um that's also coming in though a so sofa couch somebody's staying or crashing your place you're crashing at their place it's just temporary uh it's just temporary okay uh okay let's see what else do we have for you let's get a key card key oracle okay we're gonna get one of these for you now hey leonard leonard comes through a lot what do we have? What other messages do we have for Gemini, please? Before we move on to career, I just saw four, four, four. You're on the right track, Gemini. You're on the right path. There is support around you. I don't know if you're necessarily taking it. You know, and let's see what else. Whoa. All right. 
We're taking this one. Childhood wound, retrieve. All right, so we've got your inner child is looking to heal so you can move on by understanding the situation in a new light. Could tie into that loss there. Okay, going within to heal requires self-love and compassion. We spoke about compassion for yourself. Gaining perspective through energy work or therapy. Therapy's coming up again for some of you. Uh, gaining perspective through energy work or therapy can be very helpful to access tools to empower your inner child. Didn't I not say like speak to yourself as though you would speak to a friend or yes, a child, you know, those of you who work with children or communicate a lot with children, how would you, how would you speak to that child? You wouldn't say, you know, get over it, you know, come on, what's wrong with you, right? Sometimes we talk to ourselves like that though, you know? All right. Again, I'm picking up right here. There's a little story going on here. Somebody not wanting to make a scene, not wanting to be seen. There's something about that, okay? That is definitely coming through for some of you. Let's move on to career though, okay? Career money finances. It doesn't have to. It could also be retirement, entrepreneurial or entrepreneurship. Some of you are ready to take that step. I'm getting Ollie as well or any sort of name that's like LLY, Holly even. Social media marketing, card 51. So this is Seth Godin, author, Build It and They Will Come only works in the movies. Social media is a build it, nurture it, engage them, and they may come and stay. Great content requires obsessively focusing on the viewer. Consider shareability alongside relevant calls to action to further your goals. Use a management tool to aggregate accounts, recommend keywords, schedule posts, report engagement to save time while improving performance. Some of you may have a YouTube channel. All right, uh, what content sparks your customer's interest and how you can tie in the business and how can you tie that into your business? What is trending? What are your competitors doing? You know, what are people clicking on? Uh, which influences are most relevant to approach? And what is the highest performing platform to focus on? Is it this one or is it that one? There are others, you know? I'm getting, uh, let's, oh, okay. We're going to do um, a money card here of, no, we're going to get some clarity arrow. Oh, actually, I keep, I'm being drawn to different things here. Uh, some of you, um, as I, as I get the deck out here, because it's, they're kind of, Okay, I'm getting, I'm supposed to pull this card. I just randomly pulled, not my destiny. Change your financial fate with your own free will. I'm destined for success. That could be something that's difficult for some of you. This is a money block affirmations deck after all. So you are destined for success. You need to know that. Remember, you and your loved ones are safe. I feel like as you know, you are being, you're feeling that call to action, okay? We just saw 4727. That could be important. Your birthday could be on the 27th or um, maybe you're 47, something like that. So China, change your financial fate with your own free will. So this is about, you know, if something is not your destiny, taking that action to get out of it. And if something you feel very drawn to, maybe giving yourself that chance finally to nurture it. That could lead you to this delight, nine of pentacles, wish fulfillment, you know? I don't like to cover the, the goddesses that come through. It's kind of my own little thing there. Anyway, um, I didn't even need to say that out loud. So <laughs> sometimes when you're reading, you just like say everything, especially if you're channeling, like, you know, just say whatever, just all of it comes out. I was getting poison ivy too, not me personally, but ivy and poison ivy is coming up. So maybe ivy's a name or something. I'm getting somebody actually getting accepted to an Ivy League school or something that's maybe not quite Ivy League, but they're they're like, that's their school of choice. So congratulations if that's you or someone you know. All right, cutlery. Someone else had this. This is business tools. You could be entering some sort of food-related thing. You could be the sole provider. You may be looking for more work, feeling as though you need more, need more money, wanting to live well, like that nine of pentacles. What else do we have? Anchor. This could have to do with feeling stuck, you know, wanting to feel financially sound, though. Uh, this could be a water-related career. This could um, be travel. It could also indicate being, you know, just stable enough for now. Although with that King of Cups reverse that we had earlier, uh, you know, you could there could be that feeling of a shortage. I'm also getting Lee, uh, possibly L-E-I-G-H. All right, and one more card here. Butterfly. Yay. 
sudden change, frivolous spending. Uh oh. Well, we all want to watch that, right? Uh, short term loan may be coming through or a long term even. I feel this could be a career in arts movement, temporary jobs, liking what you do, right? Maybe being a little more lighthearted when it comes to work. Wouldn't that be nice? Um, let's get you a fortune cookie. Is this where I'm supposed to go here? I need to tune in here. Oh, right. This is, oh, okay. We're going to go here. We're actually going to do this. Grace and gratitude. Through gratitude, joy expands. Be grateful for what you already have. It'll help you attract more of what you want. So you'll have more to be grateful for. One of my recent readings had this as well, so it would have been either Sagittarius or Scorpio, although I did also do the all signs and Libra reading, so it doesn't really narrow it down for you, but begin now. Take your first step. Hello. I love it. And you also had action, so action's under here as well, right? All of here. I don't want to cover that star or that nine either, right? This is what you, this is what's going to end up. You know, that's what's going to happen there. Um, okay. And then one more for this. So yes, beginning now, taking that action steps. It's all about that delight, right? It is. We're, we're here to enjoy our lives, you know? I think we forget that. But, you know, the purpose of our lives is to be happy. Somebody famous said that. I don't know if it was like Confucius or who it was, but somebody said it. Or uh, Dalai Lama, maybe I, I can't remember with somebody major, but it's good advice. I know it's hard to live by though, because it can be discovering truth. You stand in the light of truth. Yeah. And that could be why, um, you know, you're needing, you're wanting to maybe make that change. If you are making a change, if it's not an actual physical change, it's you changing like your perspective or changing the way you're going to be handling things, you know, by the way you're going to be approaching life possibly. And then I have stepping into power. You are strong beyond measure. This is combining that strength card and the hermit card too. You've got the wisdom and now it's like, it's, it's that belief and that actually taking those first steps. Um, earlier, I feel as though the three of wands wanted to come out. That would be your expansion step or the uh, card. That would be that, you know, fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sag. Um, and it could be, uh, you know, just wanting to, so again, I'm getting Aries. So there's something there maybe. Um, but it's about wanting to, um, you know, yeah, step into action, step into your power. Um, there's something else though. Uh, getting something is guaranteed, but then some of you feel they're, they're, unless you have a guarantee, I'm here to say a uh, general reminder, you know, there aren't any guarantees, but, but you'll end up, you'll land on your feet. Like, you know, like a cat here, you know, cats have that wisdom, that, um, independence, that nine of pentacles energy. And they also have that agility, adaptability, intuition, intuition. All right. What else here? I kind of got stopped mid-sentence there. I apologize for that, but it does happen. So what do we need to know for love? I'm hearing emblem. Somebody could give you a, uh, or you may have a very a sentimental gift, like an emblem, a, a symbol of some kind. It could mean something, you know, maybe it's the infinity symbol or it's some sort of, it could be initials or family uh, crest or something like that. All right. Some of you are wanting to do some sort of deeper work, though, especially it could be when it comes to your commitments and your relationships, wanting to really dig down and maybe get it all up in the fields. You know, I don't say that. So whoever says that, hello, thanks for stopping by all up in the fields. I mean, I know what it means. I don't normally say that. I love this. So, so fun to do this for you. <laughs> it's just awesome. All right. Love. This is not a love deck. This is an anything deck. We've got the world. We have abundance, marriage, snakes, fire, uh, owl, proposal, transformation. So we've got everything in this deck. And yet we have love for you. And we're actually moving into the love portion, which is awesome. Love surrounds all your connections. Move forward positively in all areas of your life. So 17 is the star card. This is 17 love. So, so some of you that wish fulfillment with love, it's possible. I'm some of you, it's right around the corner. 
all right? And it, it's, um, there could be some sort of a breathtaking gesture I, I'm getting as well. This person could do little messages of love as well. That's coming through sort of like a whispers of love. But I think I actually have a deck called whispers of love. So that means I'm going to go to that. What are the messages are for love for Gemini May 2023? Please, spirits, guides, angels, Reiki tuning in. Messages for the greatest, highest good, the Gemini Collective for Schoolhouse Intuitive Tarot viewers. What do we have? Let's do this one. Megan, uh, embrace your emotions, card 18. Okay. Uh, this is all, allow your feelings to surface and be accepted. Remember, Allah reminded us of this, right? Yes. Allah reminded, God us all reminded us of that. What do we have? There could be some sort of revolution. You did have that judgment card. Now, anything below in this reading can also have to, can also resonate and, and kind of, you know, come up for this love part too. What do we need to know though? Um, what else? There's something else here. This is okay. Lasting love. I didn't even know I had this deck. So what is this? Oh, okay. Lasting love card here. Brand new deck we're using. This, and I'm getting that one too. So we have the seven of pentacles. This is growing together, but it could take time. Remember that snail there and the nine of pentacles here? It could take time. All right. And this is, um, again, that's your, you know, having to do with your security. Could be wanting to live a live in situation. Um, yeah, wanting to know if it's worth it, you know, if it's, all right, you know, making sure you're putting in the same amount. Remember, I was getting that six of pentacles, but I was also thinking of the six of cups. So this could be a relationship where you're wanting, you know, sort of equal give and take. And while it's not going to always be equal and it's not a tit for tat when it comes to relationship, relationships, but you want it to be a little more, uh, you know, fair, I guess. Two of wands. Okay. So these are, these are partners. This could be uh remember. Oh, and there's black, white again. So, but the, it blends into gray. Okay. So sometimes things aren't as cut and dry, right? It's not as easy to, it's, you know, we can't always, we might um, know where we want to be headed, but like the steps along the way, we have to make those little decisions along the way. And I'm getting some of you are still processing some sort of grief. All right. Um, and something could feel like it's missing in your heart right now, right? Maybe it could be that person. You may be wanting to uh, reconnect with somebody who has disconnected from your energy, or you could be the one roles could be flipped. Nine of wands. That's that waiting. Okay. Hurdles, slow timing. Maybe it was the wrong time when you met somebody, maybe somebody was transitioning into, you know, some other major life thing, or they just were not happy or whatever, but that could have affected it. And the time on the clock is 8, 11, 8, 12. Those numbers might be significant. All right. Uh, I'm getting Daniel as well. Anything to do in Hopkins, anything to do with those names possibly. Huh? So, yeah, I want to, I'm just going to, I kind of read these like Oracle cards. So we have, yeah, growing together, slow burning, having to wait, um, but there are some, there's love surrounding your connections. There is, uh, again, you know, letting your feelings surface and processing them, giving yourself enough time, all the time you need. Okay. And then we have, uh, two of wands. There could feel as though something's missing, even though you, this seems like a great opportunity. Get to know the person I'm hearing, you know, um, I'm also getting the number 13. It could have to do with some sort of time, 13 weeks, 13 months, something, and then there's, uh, yeah, again, that nine of wands. I'm hearing, you know, having to be flexible too, especially if somebody's job and involves travel for some of you. And so, yeah, um, taking things slow and getting to know the person is, is uh, the advice here with this card. What else do we have? What else do we have for Geminis? What do we need to be reminded of? Let's get some clarity. It's another tarot deck here. It's actually, I think it's called the Clarity Tarot. Are you joking me? We're not doing this. I guess we are. All right. We have the five of cups when it comes to love. This is, you know, maybe having some remorse. Um, there's a, t then there was maybe a tower or something. It's like stopping your old habits. There's the nine of pentacles again. This is being content with or without someone using your intuition. And then we have the, with the high priestess. And then we have sharing resources with the two of pentacles. So this is that loving partnership 
you may be looking for. This looks pretty good. And, you know, um, 22, sign of balance. You're, tu you're turning your dreams into reality. So that's having to do with love there. And then um, a final card for you is final love message for Gemini, please. May 2023. And it's fellow travelers. Support is all around you. All right. Support is all around you. Again, that traveling. Also getting intuition really strong here. Embrace your intuition. It's strong. Thank you so much and have a wonderful day.